So here we have this Lugo Pilosichkina and Charlie Bilodo from Canada. Welcome and congratulations competing in your first international event here in Finlandia Trophy and winning a medal today, a bronze medal. So how do you feel about that first international? It was very exciting for us. And, um, it was our first time that we presented the whole long program with uh, all the elements and uh, all the triple elements in. So, um, and I think we've done uh, quite a good job and we were able to manage the uh, first uh, time out excitement and stress and uh, put out two good programs. Uh, and uh, this is the level that we're at right now. So for sure there's a lot of work to be done uh, and later in the season we're looking forward to uh, take off from what we've done and um, polish it and bring it to the next level. It's really, it's really encouraging because what we do at, the tra at training it's the same as what we put out on the ice today in competitions. So just to know that we are able to deliver the same thing as we do at training uh, it's really exciting because it's been only seven months that we skate together so af after weeks and months so we will be able to reach a higher level in our skating even in competition so for us it's a big step for uh, to, to compete. Yes, very uh, beautiful performance today and very exciting lift especially the last one and uh, we talked about yesterday because Luba she performed in Cirque du Soleil so what did you is it something you took from Cirque du Soleil and what else did you learn there? Oh, for sure the last lift is um, uh, <laughs> not the whole lift but uh, a part of it is from circus and then we've developed it according to the levels and the rules and of course it's uh, very uh, like uh, we're happy to be innovative but we always need to make sure that it will be accepted and legal to perform so before we actually performed it, we had uh, some people looking at it and giving our com uh, their comments. And some people yeah. were like, are you sure you want to put this at the end? And we're like, yes, uh, we yeah. need to put it at the end. It's like <laughs> so hello, Sylvie. <laughs> yeah, Sylvie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's really, really cool. And, uh, and was it maybe a little bit scary, no? <laughs> uh, it's really... Uh, it's easier than it looks. Well, for me, <laughs> for you, it's <laughs> it may be different, but uh, basically the fit together is good for the as soon as we uh, start skating together. The first few days, we're already already feeling a natural way to skate together. So, for us to put out a, a lift like that, yes, it's it's hard, it's high level lift, but at the same time, our natural way of moving together make it easy and yeah <laughs> maybe for the people that were met right now did not see your lift can you describe it it's uh, like a handstand yeah, yeah well let's see this is me and this is luba <laughs> and this is her hands and her legs are there and, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like a double a handstand yeah a handstand, yeah. yeah so it's really really cool mm -hmm. yeah and uh, so you decided to come back luba and how did it happen that you uh, I felt like my last competitive season didn't finish on the high note. Uh, originally, I didn't plan to compete longer. I thought that uh, the previous Olympic cycle will be, that's it, will be for me. But then my last season uh, didn't go well and I had that nagging feelings that I don't want to leave like that. Uh, and I tried to um, set up a tryout, but uh, it didn't happen. At the time, the, all the assignments were out and the Grand Prix were out and the teams were announced. I still didn't have a partner and I was basically nowhere. And the circus coordinators, they kept coming directly at me, messaging me on Facebook and asking what is going on. And as soon as I said, yes, guys, it looks like I will come coming, the next day, this is your contract, just sign and come. So then I signed the contract, I went to uh, Montreal, I was living in Toronto at that, at that time, I went to Montreal for a week uh, to go through, through all the formalities at the headquarters and then I went to the tour and uh, it was um, a month or a month and a half through 
I knew that Charlie and his previous partner stopped skating together, and which for me was very unexpected because I saw them as a very progressive and powerful team and I could not imagine that something like that would happen. And uh, then uh, a month later, Charlie contacted me via Facebook again. Um, we started yeah. that Thanks, magic Facebook. <laughs> Thanks, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> And then we started chatting and we set up a tryout during my tour, first tour break in uh, September, I believe. Yeah. Charlie came to Toronto for two days to just skate with me and uh, Lee was uh, the first person that saw us together. Uh, we just did some basic skating like uh, dust spirals and something very simple and uh, that gave a food for thoughts. Uh, what's next? And then I came back to the tour and during my next tour break we set up the whole week of training in Montreal. So I flew to Montreal to train with Charlie and then we had a conversation and we decided to uh, organize the partnership on Skate Together. So then I came back to the tour, I finished my contract and in February I packed all my stuff and moved to Montreal to train with Charlie at uh, Richard, Richard Gauthier School. Yeah, I think it was a very good decision. And, and Charlie, yeah, that was really surprising that you and your previous partner Julien Seguin split up. How did that happen? And then you were uh, looking for a new partner? I didn't oh, yeah. hear the question. You, how did it happen? It was unexpected as Luba said that you split up with Yeah, well, uh, with my previous partner, I felt that at the end, uh, the situation overall uh, with, uh, with my partnership was not exactly what I wanted for the future. Uh, so I decided to move forward, but before uh, asking Lubov or anyone else uh, to skate with, I just had to take the summer uh, out of the skating at all just to make sure that uh, the next decision that I will take will be the good one and that uh, just to make sure that uh, I'm really doing uh, it for the good reason and so after the summer I was like okay no I still have some energy to put into the skating and so I came back I asked uh, Luba for a tryout and at the beginning I was hoping to do a few tryouts with a uh, few, few girls and then to, can, to, to put it on a scale of yeah, how it looks like but finally I just did one tryout with Luba and I was like, you know what, no, everything I need is in Luba, so here I am skating with her. Yeah, and you look very great and it's exciting to have a new interesting Paris team from Canada. So we wish you the best of luck for the season and see, hope to see you in many more competitions. Thank you. Thank you.